Hey, what's going on everybody? Scudder Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're back playing some more Project Hospital. Haven't played this for a while. Um, I'm struggling to remember exactly what I was doing. Um, but from what I can see down here, we've got most of our departments set up. We've got an internal uh, medicine, uh, general surgery, an intensive care, radiology and emergency now. I don't think it's working particularly efficiently, but we have all those things. So I think we're going to move on to, we've got two choices, um, orthopedics, I guess that is, and uh, cardiology uh, or neurology. We've got people collapsing. We're not very good as a hospital, I'm going to be honest with you, but we have got some cash to, to spend. So maybe we'll have a look at one of these, shall we? Let's, um, let's go on to this. We need an orthopedy um, office so we can build one of those for sure. I'm going to use the custom one, the, the uh, pre-setup ones, I think. The entrance is over here, so let's, let's get this in. Maybe right in the corner here. Okay, nice. Uh, what else do we need? Let's get a little toilet in here, shall we? Because we're nice like that. Okay, nice. Okay. Um, what else do we want? A waiting room, we can do that in a second. A restroom, we've got a corridor, we haven't got a reception, we haven't got a cleaning closet, common room. So oh, the only other thing we need is a lab from the looks of things. This looks pretty easy. This can't be our whole department, can it? Oh look, it looks like there's more once we get to that point. Um, okay, let's get in here, let's get I can remember where anything is. Um, we want like a waiting room type area. So let's get that in with an office chair. And then a computer. Is that all we need for a waiting room? I think it is. I don't think there's much more. Where's the computers around here today? Um, I can't remember how to set rooms as rooms. It's been a little while, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, how do I define what a room is? Oh man, where is it? There's a thing that says this is a, a particular room. Chief, doctor, none, okay, that doesn't help me. Um, Oh, I could have just gone with one of these, to be fair. I mean, this is quite a big waiting room, but I still could, I suppose. Could put it in the middle here, maybe. Or down the bottom here, like this. Why not? Let's do that. Okay, that doesn't really help me, though, in what I was doing. There's a reception here. We could put one of these in. I don't think we've got enough money anymore. No, we, we have. We just can't put it up against the wall. That's a bit weird. How do I... Oh, man. How do I say this is a, a room? It's got to be around here somewhere. God damn it. How do I draw a room out? I can't remember. This is really annoying. <laughs> ah, do I go here? Aha, I remember now. We don't want the waiting room here, we want the reception here, don't we? I know there's missing equipment. It's taken me a while, all right, relax. Uh, computer. How do I find a computer? Aha, if I click on this, I remember. We're getting there, everybody. We are getting there. Okay. Let's have a cheeky little one of those as well. Nice. And you know what? Cacti on the desk. And a pot plant here. Nice. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, we want to change the floor a little bit. So we want this to have its own colour. It's got like this funny green colour, so maybe we'll stick with that, I guess. Uh, 
Beautiful, okay. So we now need some doctors. Oh, that's up here, I think, from memory. So we want a receptionist, first of all. You, you'll do. Why can I not assign you? There we go. I don't know why that wasn't working in the first place, but fine. Okay, what else do we need? Missing staff. Do we need biochemistry for this? Is that what we need? Let's try. Well, she's definitely doing some work, at least. Why is it saying we got no waiting room? I can clearly see a waiting room down there. Okay. Um, I need a doctor. 68%. You will do, my friend. Do I need another nurse? Let's get one in, just in case. There you go. And then I guess if I do this... Telling me I've got, why are you telling me I haven't got a waiting room? Why got to be like that? There we go. Open insurance. Nice. Okay, we're up. We're up and running. I thought those people were in straitjackets. Oh, they didn't have a bathroom up. Oh, they've got a bathroom. What are you talking about? Got a patient with an incorrect eye diagnosis. Got iron deficiency, typhoid fever on months. Okay, let's um, let's draw some blood and let's um, do some samples. Okay, nice. We'll keep your screen up. See what see what your issue is, love. We're not treating many patients. We sent um, well, it's only nine o'clock, but we sent free home. We weren't able to treat. Look at these guys all coming around to the toilet. Does that mean that... We haven't narrowed this down yet. We're still doing our tests. Let's have a look at you. Um, one hidden symptom. Okay. We can't do any of this stuff. We think it's this. We think it's this. Go home with some... What do I treat you with? Yeah, get out of here. Don't come back. How are you doing? Yeah, we, we're not worried about people collapsing. <laughs> no, in our hospital, we don't care about that sort of stuff. Okay, there's a lot of people collapsing. People being transported to another hospital. Off he goes. <laughs> Whoops. Our hospital is pretty poor. I think what I might do is I'm tempted to, to give it a little while um, and come back to this because I really enjoy this. But the layout of my hospital is, is a bit crippling, I think. Um, I think this needs to be far bigger. I think this needs to be far more self-contained with more individual rooms um i think you know we've got a lot of problems with uh the icu stuff and the and the uh the beds that we've got for people i think we just need to expand everything but keep it more self-contained in the same department i don't think having some of this up here is helping um you know i think we kind of treat them as different units and, and keep them very very separate um, and I think that means more beds and more rooms and more everything. So I, I think that's what I'd do to, to start again. Um, I'm intrigued to see if we get anybody come to this at all. So is this not classed as a restroom? What is this our, this is our uh, general surgery? No, this is our advanced internal medicine, isn't it? Not accessible for patients. So if I was to go here and do this. I don't understand why this isn't accessible for patients. Oh, have I not put doors on the actual stools? I think that's the problem. I can't really see, but I think that's the problem. <laughs> I don't know. How do I tell? Where are doors in this place? Are 
that one's got a sinking instead of a... <laughs> I'm the worst. God damn it. Where's the bathroom sinks? Got rid of that mirror. There we go. That might be better. Great, we've got people using the toilet now. I'm a bit I'm a bit happy about that. Okay, so this person's having some treatment. She got neck pain with five hidden symptoms. Wow, we found all those symptoms really quickly. Like really quickly. Look at us go. And we treated another patient. That's pretty cool. I like that. So I'm guessing if we were to click on this and go to Is there like an emergency thing here? Oh, Chief Doctor, that'll be that'll be you, William. So this is telling us that we don't have enough uh, for hospitalization. I see. Okay. So for hospitalization, we need three doctors, three nurses. And all of these things, which we haven't got at the moment. There's blood up here. Jeez. Why aren't you cleaning this blood? It's right there. Look, get it. You, get the blood. Oh. It's right there. We can't have people walking into the hospital and there just being blood on the floor. That's a joke. Okay. Let's just go back downstairs. Patient's going... Our doctors can figure that out. They, they're good enough. They can figure that out. I'm sure of it. Can I copy this room? Is this an intensive care room? How do I tell? Not sure what that is. That's just one of these rooms. I want another one of these. Okay. So if I go to build... How do I do this? I don't know if I do. Holy moly, look at this. How much does this cost? 58 grand, I can't afford it. 29 grand. Crap, look at this thing. Where's the door into this place? What do I do with this, I wonder? I mean, I could put this here and block off these doors. Let's do it. Got another intensive care unit, I think this is. Um, let's do the floor. Is it this orange color, maybe? Okay, we've still got this room down here, but I'm intrigued to find out what all this stuff does. Okay, we're at night time again. The clinic is closed. I wonder if that means if we get any emergencies, we're going to be able to look after people. More than one person, maybe. I think that's half the problem. Look at all this shit in this room, though. What is it all? Do I need, like, people in here? Working? That might help. There's no nurse stations or anything in here. Look, it's just literally just this. There you go. We'll have another... And we'll have a cleaner up here. What other things haven't we got while we're here? Have one of you. 
Do we need a... Is this a doctor at night? Guessing. I don't I don't think they do anything. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think they actually... A couple of cleaners. We'll get some of those in. See if they clean up that blood that we've got. All these are full, from the looks of things. Let's go upstairs. Yeah, these all look full. I mean, I don't think we need them, but... I think we also might have loads of doctors that so we're in debt. I think we might have loads of doctors that don't actually work. Um, or nurses. We don't have anything for an orthopedics um, patient. Okay, sorry about that. I do apologise. But yeah, I think I think this has become a bit of a mess. Um, and I think my plan is to... Um, is to potentially... Look at the blood on the floor in that hallway. Is to restart with um, with more of an idea now of what to expect. Um, and hopefully coming up with a, a better plan for a hospital, keeping things um, uh, keeping things separate, and just seeing how that works. You know, having more of I think having more of these sorts of rooms, like these special treatment rooms for one people, more intensive care rooms, more of these surgery bits for general surgery, because this is where people come in at um, come in at night in an ambulance, and we don't really seem to have anyone dealing with this sort of stuff. Um, so I think, I think trying to get it running a bit more smoothly is is key to all this. Um, but uh, I I find this game so much fun, especially the individual diagnosis. We've reached uh, 70 seventy percent prestige. So we got some. What do we get? Prestige at the end of the day, internal medicine department reward. Next one intern available for a hire will be a great candidate. Okay. Um, Ward ambulances. Purchase one ambulance. Okay, we've done that. So, great. We're up to three stars. Look at us go. Look at us go. Oh, so, we could take another one. Quick snap care. Okay, so we've got another... Uh, thing so it's, it's now up to more patients coming in which should mean we treat more during the course of a day which should mean we reach that treat 60 patients thing um, which is pretty good um, but again I think I think the plan is to stop here and just have a little look and see how we get on these guys are treating this dude hallucinations CO poisoning wow carbon monoxide that's not good for anybody So off they go. They're going upstairs. And then, what room are they in? Well, they're now over here. So you're doing something to her. What are you doing to her? Doing some more examini examinations. <coughs> okay. Um, so yes, next time, I think we're going to... Um, you can change the, the nurses and, and doctors' names. Uh, next series, we're going to do this again. We're going to start season two of this, I think, with more of an idea of what we're doing. Uh, we're going to really try and, and make it work like a an actual hospital and be a bit more uh, laid out in, a, in a, an appropriate manner with room to expand. I think that's my biggest problem here is that if I want more doctor's office, I can use this corridor, but there is no other way. Uh, and I think that's a little bit short-sighted so i think you know having corridors that go through the whole of the hospital um, i think all those things will help um so that's the plan um if you want to be a doctor or a nurse or a patient uh, i would love it if you uh, if you leave in the comments just your the name of the patient that you want to be called um and next season we'll start uh, we'll start putting those in um thank you so much for watching this i hope you've enjoyed it um please let me know your thoughts please hit the like button subscribe button sorry it got to such a a mess because um, it is a mess um, but there's lots to come I've got a list of, of several games to play so they should be coming up soon um, and we'll try and keep it with sort of a game from each each genre of, of, of um, categories that I've got all with a similar sort of uh, aspects in terms of building running an industry running a, 
a, a football team you know whatever whatever the game is generally management simulation strategy building that sort of thing so um let me know if there's any games that you want to see on that but um keep an eye on the channel if you've enjoyed this series and haven't subscribed please do because it will be coming back um if you uh, if you want to see more then please hit that uh, that like button subscribe button follow me on twitter at scott gaming i'll see you again soon thank you what if the world had more of your smile what if the wind could spread your love what if your sweetness could reach everyone there'd be no wars 